It's the 28th of September, I'm Jerusha Sukthio Rath and you're watching News 24 Live. Ten fishermen have died and three remain missing after they abandoned a fishing trawler which was taking on water in rough seas last night. Eight men were plucked from the frigid water by other vessels that had rushed to their aid. NSRI spokesperson Craig Lambian said the volunteer service was alerted to the vessel in distress by the Transnet National Ports Authority. Lambian said the 42-metre Cape Town fishing trawler had taken on water and all 21 members had abandoned ship. A cargo vessel and three fishing boats were first to arrive at the floundering trawler's location. Christopher Panayitu, accused of orchestrating his wife's murder in April, is expected back in the Port Elizabeth Magistrates Court today. 28-year-old Panayitu and his co-accused Cizé Zwake Zuma Zonke, who's believed to be the hitman, are accused of plotting to kill and murder Panayitu's wife Jade. Jade was kidnapped on Tuesday, April 21st, while waiting outside her complex in Kabega Park for her lift to Rebeck College Girls High School in Utenhague, where she taught. Her body was found near the Kwanobushle township the next day. At his last court appearance in August, Panayito appeared more informally dressed than during his previous appearances, wearing a navy blue windbreaker and jeans. He's still being held at the St Albans prison after his bail appeal was dismissed in the High Court in Grahamstown last month. And finally, Springbok captain Jean de Villiers yesterday announced his retirement from international rugby. This comes after a jaw fracture he sustained in the Rugby World Cup Pool B match against Samoa on Saturday. 34-year-old de Villiers, who captained the box 37 times, has retired as the second most capped Springbok captain of all time. De Villiers said, when I got injured on Saturday and I left the field, I knew I had played my last test for South Africa. De Villiers will return to South Africa today to possibly have surgery on his fractured jaw. Meanwhile, Springbok coach Heineke Meyer said Jean is a true ambassador for South Africa and a person everyone in our country can be immensely proud of. More on News 24 Live.